Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, we tried to tear down the walls inside. We didn't quite finish. So I've got a little bit of time this morning. I'm gonna to try to finish up the bathroom and then take away the closet that we were gonna keep, but have now decided to demolish. So let's get inside and let's get it done. Okay, so at first we had planned on keeping this closet because it had the fuse box in it and then it's got the water heater on the bottom here. But um, we've configured some things around our bed up towards the nose of the trailer and we're going to move the fuse box and the electrical towards the front and then we're going to get rid of this and add some more cabinets and uh, get some more counter space. So. We can keep the water heater here, but we're going to get rid of this and just kind of open it up a little bit more. So first thing today is to demo this and I don't think it's going to be that hard to do, but we'll just kind of have to see. First thing I'm going to do is try to get rid of this electrical. for this window which we're going to replace hopefully and a mirror ooh a mirror and well I'm just going to try to hit it and see what happens here this drain is supposed to do. I guess it worked because it it elbowed around and went to the sink maybe. So maybe it was like a vent for the sink and then maybe the tank up under here. But it looks like it's it may not be capped off. This fuse box, I'm just going to set it here for now and then uh, I may bring it to someone who wants it because we're going to get a new fuse box and then this water heater I'll probably bring it to someone who may want it as well because I think we're going to go more with like a tankless water heater, something a little bit smaller and try to modernize this camper, um, get it up to speed with 2022 rather than 1961. Right. 
Well, I was going to assume that since this has not been used in years, that this right here was drained. The answer to that is no. So it is gushing out water now, right here, which is fine um, because we're replacing any, we're replacing everything anyway. So um, probably should have checked that before I cut the. Uh, the main line here of plumbing. keeping these walls really been me um but i wonder if it'd be better if i just knocked them down and replaced them i know it'd be a lot easier for me to take away the walls in here okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to knock down these walls and then um take the, or yeah these walls right behind me here and then I'm going to remove the metal and fiberglass walls. Oh, Samantha may be mad. I think she really wants those walls gone anyways and redone. This is probably the right decision. So, yay. So the easiest thing for me to do is just this track that runs all the way up the wall and this slides up into it, but it is screwed up to this and um, it's been painted over so many times I don't know what kind of screw it is, so I don't know exactly how to remove it. This obviously is option number one. Interesting for sure. Yeah, you can see this track here. That's good to know because the main reasoning behind me not wanting to take these down was I really didn't know how I would fasten them to the walls and the roof whenever I rebuilt them. But now I know how it works and it shouldn't be that hard to do. I just gotta find me this track. So I'm assuming it's safe to the in and you just fasten it to the walls. Uh, uh. So here's the dilemma I have. I broke the bit that we were using the other day and I think I may have another one. If not, then this project's on hold for, for a little while. So let me walk in the shed and see if I've got another bit. Alrighty, lucky me.
Add another bit. Now that most of the wall back here is done, I'm going to continue to drill some rivets over here that was behind the closet. And um, I may call it for a few hours. I've got some things to do today and some other stuff I need to take care of. But um, once I get back later on this afternoon and then Samantha comes home, we could both tackle what's left in here. Be gone, pipe. Be gone. Well, a few hours have gone by and I'm back to finish the project. So all I've got left is the bottom part of this wall over here. And I tried to get the little area where the toilet was, the little raised area out earlier and it just wasn't budging. So I'll probably do that some other day. But, um, and the shower base as well, that'll be another day as well. So I'm probably just gonna cut around it because I know that the wall goes behind it and I'm sure there's rivets that I need to drill out. All right, well, here goes nothing. This went all the way down, but it looks like it. Well, you know what? Now I'm looking from this side. Never mind it. I think it does. Bummer. I was hoping that it just stopped right here, and then this just went all, went all the way down. It looks like that it does. Come all the way around. Oh no, it doesn't. Tail, right behind that dirt robber's nest this one ends so that is fan freaking tastic I may be able to just pull that down so far so good The difference between me doing this this morning and me doing it now is it's hot. Man, it is so hot in here. Early this morning, the temperature was perfect. It was nice and cool, and uh, it didn't bother me at all. Right now, this is in the middle of the day, and it's, it's pretty hot. 
in here, not outside. But there's no air circulation going on in here. But all I lack is just this one little side over here where the toilet was. And uh, I figure it's going to be a pain in the rear. But uh, what time is it now? I've still got about an hour and 15 minutes to get this done. So surely that's plenty enough time for me to, to finish that one little section right there. Okay. This is all I lack. <clears throat> um, I just really wish I could get this up because it would be a lot easier. And I'm assuming I'm going to need to take this toilet flange out in order to, uh, to get this off. that way. Alright. Oh man. It's done. All the wall back there has been taken out. I'm so happy that it is over. It was rough. This was pretty bad so I can only imagine putting it back up how that's going to be. But anyways, the shower base is still sitting there and the little platform where the toilet is is still sitting there. That's going to be removed for another day. And uh, i got to figure out how to get the flange off so I can get that little platform where the toilet is <clears throat> removed. But anyways, the wall's down. All I have left is insulation, so I'm not going to bore you with that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for following along, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, my word.